Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Oakworld Games, and we are talking about Tom Clancy's The Division. This is definitely one of my most anticipated games of 2015. We've got new information about a beta for The Division, brand new screenshots and details about the Gamescom demonstration, which by the way is coming very, very soon. So stay tuned to Open World Games right here on YouTube because early next week, I will be showing it to you guys. That is going to be awesome. So you're probably wondering about this beta. Well, yes, we are getting teases and hints about a beta. Recently, Ubisoft stated that they are interested in making The Division a good online game, and they believe good online games require testing. Now, they did not confirm or deny the existence of a beta, but I can tell you, you can look at the history of Ubisoft and get an idea of what they are thinking. And the best example is with the crew. I was blown away recently when they announced that the crew beta will be heading to every single platform, nearly every single platform. That's gonna be PS4, Xbox One, and PC in September. I would honestly expect them to be doing the exact same thing for The Division. I doubt they will roll out a huge MMO type experience like this without testing it extensively. So I would really expect a beta before this game releases. And I will keep you guys informed about beta, so stay tuned right here to Open World Games for more information about The Division. I'm gonna show you guys some brand new concept arts and screenshots that were recently released for Tom Clancy The Division. Here, we see them roaming through a very distraught New York City. This place is a disaster. To the right, you have a stadium, which actually these stadiums are known to be a uh, base of operations where you can go take them over and then have a place to regroup, respec your character, trade, and meet other agents in the world of the division. Which, by the way, I have heard these social zones can house hundreds of players simultaneously. So it's going to be quite the adventure getting in there and meeting fellow players. And here we see this spooky concept art. This is amazing. I can see the sun rays are coming through between the buildings, but there's really nothing to be happy about with this screenshot. You've got the city, it's on fire. The buildings are in decay. And this is what to expect when entering the world of the division. And here is an awesome screenshot. This is actually the demonstration we will be seeing from Gamescom, but this is a shot from the close demonstration which will be public very soon. It was another mission where two players in a drone have the task to clear out a supermarket and activate a generator to stabilize and secure the area. It was the same area of the E3 gameplay demo, just a different part of that gameplay demo. And this time, it was at nighttime. And you could probably recognize that the area is on fire. Well, the cleaners have been busy they're tasked with clearing out contamination at all costs. It doesn't matter who is in the way. Collateral damage does not matter. They also go on to say that New York is separated into different districts and have levels of contamination. As you can see, this area is definitely contaminated. The gas masks are on and contamination is also designed around level progression. Some areas of the city you cannot progress to unless you have upgraded your gas mask. So that's gonna play a huge role with how you explore the game. And this screenshot may already be familiar to many of you. This is from the Manhattan gameplay demonstration from E3 2014. I'm gonna include a link in the description so if you have missed that, you can definitely check it out. But as you can see, everyone is geared up and ready to go. And we've got a little drone buddy. This is a tablet user that is helping out our agents in battle. Another high quality screenshot shows the agents roaming the underground. This is the subway and you will be able to explore the rooftops, the street level and the underground in the division. It will be very dense. And that is one thing that Ubisoft has really mentioned. They want open world, but they want every street corner to be experienced. So expect to find something around every corner. Finally, we have another screenshot. This may look familiar. As you can see, they are going in to take over a base of operations. This is going to be extremely important in the game. New York is going to be separated into different districts and have levels of contamination. This level defines if you can go there and also controls your path through the city. The contamination, moral, and security levels can be directly changed and influenced by completing missions like the one shown 
previously where you take over the supermarket and then enable a base of operations, which we are seeing here. So grabbing this will be extremely important to controlling a district and then also making the place safer as well. So yes, somewhere out there in the wild, there is a closed Gamescom demonstration going on of The Division and it will be made public shortly. I think it's gonna be early next week as I have been told by Antoine, the community manager of The Division. He says they're gonna first show it off to the core fans over in Europe and then they're gonna show it off to everyone, to the world. So I will let you guys know when that is up. Stay tuned to Open World Games next week. You're gonna to wanna to keep your eyes peeled right here to the channel because yes, I'm gonna have a brand new gameplay demonstration of the cleaners and so much more. I think it's gonna be insane, especially by the brand new screenshot that we saw. So guys, are you excited about The Division? Please let me know and if you want more videos about The Division, there's an entire backlog of videos dedicated to The Division right here on Open World Games, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in apocalyptic New York City in 2015. See you guys next time.